other sculpting techniques. All right, so I made a new scene here. And what I'm going to do is first generate a different object to sculpt on. I'm going to start with a plane because it's easy to demonstrate this stuff. Switch into edit mode, and I want this plane to maintain its squareness. So I'm going to hit Control R, and then I'm going to insert some edges here. I'm going to put these edges on the outside edges. A little bit of spacing. Also, I want this to be a very uniform subdivide, so I'm going to hit Control R and then wheel mouse up until I get three. Then Control R and wheel mouse up until I get three edge loops. And now in object mode, I could take and add a modifier, multi res. And I'm going to subdivide this into like six. Okay. Now, in edit mode, I'll hit A, then U, and then unwrap. Okay, so that'll unwrap all the UVs. And now I have, I'm going to right click here and go split area. And you can see that in my UV image editor, this is what I have. Good. It's exactly what I want. Okay, now I can right click on this line and say join area. And I can point the arrow this way and join it. Just wanted to show you the UVs there. All right, let's go into sculpt mode. Let's first cover the fundamentals. So this is my F draw. Radius strength and auto smooth. But what I really want to show you is the texture part. Notice in the texture, I have no textures. So how do I generate these? Well, Blender has a plethora of ability to generate noise textures or be able to capture textures from your hard drive. So under here, I have texture. I can click here, new, and I could choose different noise. So I can use distributed noise, clouds, blends, all kinds of crazy stuff. So really noise is where it's at. You know, if you think about it, all texture consists of some kind of magical noise. Not magic noise, but just noise in general. So if clouds are over here, but what I'm going to do here is name this texture clouds. So it's easy to reference. And now with that in, I can now sculpt using clouds. If I want to switch over, very easy. Let's say I wanted to use this weird magic thing. Okay. I can call it magic. And all of a sudden, I'm sculpting with magic. Now, there's a different kind of a stroke that you might want to be using for this. So let's go into stroke. Right now, we're using space, but not everything could use space efficiently. There's an anchored, which is quite nice. So now you can see that I can draw out these little things. And these are nice because you can make some cool alien skin. Just like that, if you take your time, you get a really cool pattern with these. I can see at a distance. Very cool. Now there's other stuff. There's anchored dots, 
drag dots is pretty neat because you can just drag it, place it, but you can't make any kind of change as far as the um, width or height of it with drag dots. Okay, dots is just a buildup of material. Now dots in space are pretty much the same. Uh, you only see a, a difference with the clouds between those two. Let's say I put on accumulated and you can see, wow, all of a sudden, huge buildup of stuff. Well, let's look at maybe importing one in because you can make a whole bunch of these in Blender, but let's say I need to make something very specific like this and let's add a little bit more to it. Let's um, I'll make a new layer that way I can have two different ones here. So think about this, everything white is abrasive, everything black is non-abrasive. So the black stuff is unchanged, the white stuff is the actual change. And this is commonly known as an alpha. So let's save this as, we're gonna save this as a targa file. I'm gonna call this screw. It's gonna be a targa, save it out, 24 bits. Also, I'm gonna eliminate that and save this as circle too. And one more I like to do, just to show you some cool stuff. Let's go to blur, Gaussian blur. Oops. Select the select first and then filter, blur, Gaussian blur. And I'm going to blur it out just like that. And we'll save that one more time. Circle would drop. Okay, now I got all these textures that I just made. And you can make hundreds and millions more on your free time, of course. So let's go down here and choose type. We'll make a new one first. That way I can keep the other ones. Click on that. Image or movie. And then I can open from my desktop. And we'll go screw. Okay, so there's a simple screw head. I'll name this one screw. And now if I use this, what I would do is probably use something a little bit with less of a drop off. Like you could go layer, you could use screw head, and then you could use anchored. And then you're just um, choosing to add a little bit more strength to it. Well, not that much strength. So you just gotta find the right type of brush to use with this. In this case, that one really sucks. So we're gonna go back to my good old faithful brush. Ah, that looks a lot better. So now you can see, if I wanted to put screws on like a mechanical character, I could. If I hold shift, I can kind of smooth them out just a little bit, but it's all based upon resolution. So if you have a really good resolution on your, your plane, these things look good. If not, yeah, they don't look so good. So here I could subdivide one more time and I might have enough to really support that screw head. Now you can see the difference. Much better. And if you want to make it so it's not looking so jackety here, you can go to smooth 
and take down strength just a little bit and just kind of touch it just a little bit. So just some tips, but it's all based upon resolution. So if you don't have enough resolution, it's always going to look a little bit harsh. Okay. Now you could imagine, yeah, I could go in here and bring all the other ones in and they all have their own purposes and tweaks and mannerisms. But just know that for every one that you have to add a new one in here and then get it from your hard drive and then call it something. So this one is now called a drop off. And now I could switch between these by clicking here and you can see that I have a few of them. Now the drop off one really does a nice job. Okay, what happened to the screw one? Very simple. When I hit the plus, you notice it didn't really uh, change much over here, right? And it still says screw TGA. So what I like to do is switch back and forth every once in a while and just, uh, so over here I got this drop off, right? And then I can go in here and hit plus and it doesn't do squat. Okay, that one's there, good. It's a little picky, I'll say that. Okay, so now I should have the drop off and the screw. So you just gotta go in here and when you make a new one, just make sure it's applying quite well. And a lot of times it's just you making sure that these line up and that you're doing a good job of hitting the enter button. It's very picky about that also. Okay, so now that we have the ability to bring in alphas and sculpt with them, let's look at a practical application and workflow with them in the next video.